We're gonna try this, belly and all, all right? Yeah, all right, I'm up here somewhere, somewhere, okay? But 2015 Equinox, rear brakes. I already did the other side and it actually went really fast, so I wasn't expecting that. Nobody's ever expecting any of this to work out the way it does, so we're off to 14 millimeter to get this bad boy loose don't hit these with your hand because you'll hurt your hand okay also don't just leave the whole vehicle suspended in the air with a jack with a jack um yeah so do as you do not as i say i something we don't know what's going on with that but you know We'll see how this works out. This is a, a good test run for the old GoPro. And I, I'm gonna try not to crack you all up. All right? It's the, it's the least we can ask. Let's squeeze that down just a little bit. And this puppy slides off and everybody's gonna say, don't leave that just hang there. Well, let's get rid of some of that crusty, musty, whatever. All right? Don't let it hang there. You don't wanna do that. We will take the handy dandy. Uh, what you call it? A uh, uh, clamp of greatness. Sure, big old C clamp. Put her in there and recompress this goofy cylinder back down. I swear these are these are uh, remind me of Honda Civic. Kids, they are so tiny. Wait till I pull these brakes out. The other side compressed super easy, so I figured this one was going to be the fighter, and it's fighting me more than the other side, but it's still not bad. Make sure not to put pressure on your little plates over here either, because you start bending those and they start making noise against the rotor. Listen to that squeakiness. And we're bottomed out. Easy peasy. Oh, we got bubble paint up here. You probably can't see that. Oh, that's horrible. You can't have bubble paint on your shiny Equinox. Now, I, I have no way. I'll have to get like a tripod to do better shots than this, okay? But first time out we'll just go with how we go so I got my little fork screwdriver here because it's handy in all ways handy okay yeah. get this tiny little guy all right so we did purchase the uh, nice Wagner brakes this will be the pad that matches and uh, let's see as you can tell there ain't a whole lot left there, okay? Not like that one. That has a ton left on it. Okay? Brand new. Shaky poo. Looks like Wagner's went in last time, whenever that was. And Wagner's are coming out. No, wait. One way or the other. Hey, where's the, uh, where's the squeaker? There it is. One has a squeaker on it, and apparently the squeaker bit, the squeaker bit right here that rubs to the inside goes to the inner one on the back side, on both sides. So yes, they're directional. Make sure you check it before you put it in, or you might be taking it all apart if you put it on backwards. Come on. See, one side's got to fight. You can't help it. Always got to have a fire in the club. I figured this out was light. The other side went so easy, I was pretty much done by now. You know, granted I'm talking or whatever. Holy cow. Hey, you know how to get that out? You take the brake pad out first. You guys were all screaming. 
and I'm taking the clip out at the same time. All right. Clip came out. This goes to prove there's the squeaker. Beefier on the old ones. I just went straight for this. I didn't even. I forgot there was a pad even back there. So, because of the way this is set up, and you're kind of in the distance, really, you're not even two feet away. Um, if this was for somebody's customer vehicle, I would recommend that you, uh, nice ridge there, either get these turned, depending on if they're not in spec, but for me, they're, they're, they're smooth enough even though they look bad. But they're smooth enough when you raise that across and it doesn't make a, a harp sound. We're good. We're golden. We're going to leave it to the wind on that one. I also, and these don't matter which way you put them on. You should, however, clean up the surfaces that this is going on. Notice how I'm not. It will just make it more difficult for me to squeeze stuff on as I'm doing all this. But, if you're going to do it, you should probably do it right and not the way I do it. Maybe put a little bit of that brake anti-squeak on the back of everything. Hmm? Maybe. These make good little hammers. They have been used and abused and I just like to make sure that the clips are all the way in. Oh, I want to get you plastic. Because if everything's in place, it's so much easier to put these pads on. And they just slide right in. You're not going to slide right in, are you? You, you have a mission. Mission control, this is major time. Oop, almost. Get out there. I always find the inner one to be more difficult. Old brake pads have just enough weight to do everything you want in the palm of your hand. Dun, dun, dun. That one almost just slid right on. Give me that brake pad. Yeah. There you go. She's in. She's level. She's happy. This bad boy right here. All squares together. Like I said, you should probably put some sort of anti-squeak, anti-seize on there. And these bad boys still look brand new. I ain't touching them. They got enough grease and brake dust from my fingers to save the world. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. God, I miss shows like that. Great. That Heroes, maybe. Which one was the 14 again? Oh, bright as the sun. I want to have some fun. Come and give me some of that yum yum chocolate chip honey dip. Can I get a scoop? Maybe take a ride in my coop. And that's jobs of Dunner for the backyard mechanic. Okay? All you got to do now is put your wheel on. You want to put the wheel on with me? You're here. I mean... Uh, let me get this baggie without showing you cracks. Ugh. Ain't nobody got time for no cracks, all right? Ain't nobody got no. So the other day, ugh, which is how I know I needed. Well, the wife needed new uh, brakes back here because I checked and I rotated the tires because rotation is key to quality but one thing I didn't do was mess with the tire pressure sensors because last time I tried that it didn't work so now on a dash the front tires are the back tires and the back tires are the front tires so Keep that in mind if you rotate tires. Slimming. All that chrome is very slimming. Not really. Um, I 
I don't really trust those uh, battery operated impact wrenches though every shop in the world seems to love them and every mechanic we'll say mechanic on uh, YouTube seems to love them I, I can't get behind them for final work you know final work you just want to torque wrench or this I grew up using this and uh, I've had many of them they work great notice I'm not really doing anything I'm just kind of snugging them up making sure the wheel goes on straight that's it look at this I'm not really putting any effort into this the only effort comes from actually snugging them down okay you get a little while it's here you get a little bit of happiness make her talk to you a little chitter it's okay it doesn't take that much effort you can do it I trust you okay that's centered it ain't going anywhere going down make sure to leave your hand in there in case everything falls apart you can lose it okay we're nothing if not safe the second time around right we're safe the second time around this is about the time that uh, the crack usually shows because power it's a good thing I have that big belly you know all that power is the car rocking well don't come and knock it I realize not everybody's gonna know what it feels like to hit 105 psi but that's about it even though these are only supposed to be like 90 or something I think uh yeah there you go there you have it and uh I can see you on here and and that's how we did that stuff well take care that's 12 minutes you're never getting back thanks for watching